Again, there's all sorts of different ways of cleaning <coughs> up brass boilers, but this is the method I generally use. If they're quite badly um, badly marked, a bit of scotch bright, some uh, metal polish. I quite like this auto gum stuff. It seems to work very well. Um, and this, this will get off um, all of this crap that's on here. Um, uh, you'll need to, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a multi-stage process. This is basically the, just the cleaning stage uh, to get all the marks off. Okay, and uh, a lot of people don't like doing this. They like the patina that's on the boiler, but it's just uh, I prefer them shiny. So, um, and uh, you will absolutely get filthy doing this. There's just there's no two ways about it. So if you don't like getting dirty, then this is not a not a job for you basically. But it will uh, the, the the metal polish will get all these black marks off. Um, initially, it doesn't it won't look that good uh, because this is a quite a coarse uh, attempt. But um, I'll polish it up afterwards once we've got we've we've worked on it with this. We'll just go back to using uh, the metal polish and, and just some rag, basically. But um, yeah, so we'll go over the boiler and get it all nice and cleaned up, and then the next stage will be to solder in the um, uh, the whistle and the uh, water level plug uh, boiler inserts. Well. <clears throat> some significant amount of time later and a lot of elbow grease hopefully you guys will end up with something which looks like this um, I mean it, it, it takes I'm not no kidding you you know you, you've got to put some effort into get to get in it to, to look like that and also of course your hands will end up looking like this okay but there you go it's well worth it um, some of the uh, more stubborn marks around the uh, end caps of the boiler, I did actually have to use uh, a rotary tool with a with a small wire brush. Uh, you really do need to use these when you're using that because bits of this fly off and you get one of those in your eyes, it's not nice. Um, anyway, this is now ready for uh, soldering in the boiler inserts, the new ones, for the whistle and for the uh, level plug. So that will be the next job. Right, well the first thing we're going to do is put the um, <clears throat> water level plug uh, boiler insert, solder that in place. Now, um, I found that this works very well uh, for, for these kind of model steam engines. These operate extremely low pressure. There's only about 15 psi in one of these boilers when they're going. So I use, and I've had great results with, just this normal acid core uh, plumber's basic solder, really, that you can get from any UK uh, uh, DIY place like B&Q, somewhere like that, and um, same with this um, uh, flux. Um, basically what I do, this has worked for me in the past, so I take some of the solder and I make a little tiny ring which will, which will fit around the uh, boiler insert, okay, like that. Uh, <clears throat> then we get some flux, plonk it all around. The trick really with this is you need to get the, the, the metal meat needs to be as clean as it possibly can be. That's that's basically, you know, the, the, the real um, trick and um, plenty, use plenty of flux. I mean, it's a bit tricky when it's something this small because you're going to get it all over your fingers, but that doesn't matter. Pop the ring of solder around the boiler insert like that. I don't know well that you can see that on the camera, but anyway, then you basically pop the boiler insert with the ring of solder around it in place like that, <coughs> and we're pretty much ready to go. Just need a little screwdriver, and I use one of these um, kitchen uh, brazing little blowtorch things. Um, the ignite has gone on it, so I'm using another torch to ignite it. Um, you don't actually have to get this too hot. This, this doesn't have to be that hot. Obviously the boiler is going to sink most of the heat. And pretty much there we go. Job done.
Okay, now we're going to do the uh, <coughs> whistle uh, boiler insert, which is exactly the same uh, same process. I've already put the uh, flux on both the boiler and the, ins the insert. Um, by the way, if you've got one of these, this is a retort stand. Absolutely superb for holding things like this. There you go, that's pretty much all there is to it. The one one little trick I have found is you, you don't want to get this too hot because you can actually boil the solder and it will just bubble and go all over the place. You just want to heat it up enough so that it flows around the joint and once it's done that, which it has done quite nicely there, the job's done. It's as simple as that. So don't don't overdo it basically. Obviously it needs to be cleaned up afterwards, but um yeah, job done. So that's the boiler uh, pretty much sorted.